Welcome to the State Television Company, Western Armenia. Today's broadcast. A regular session of the National Assembly of Western Armenia was held. Baku is a genocidal state. Lemkin Institute appealed to the United Nations. Turkey has the highest level of imprisonment in the South Caucasus. Eastern Armenia has the lowest rate. Lemkin continues to falsify. The monument commemorating the legendary Mogartic Hayatunyan was opened in Tallinn. The 20th international competition named after Aram Khachatryan is starting. After 15 years, the hockey team of Western Armenia will participate in the World Championship. On June 5, the regular session of the National Assembly of Western Armenia was held in the online format. Mr. Armena Gabrahamian, the President of the National Council of Western Armenia, made an opening speech. He presented the issues on the UN Treaty on Intellectual Property, Genetic Resources and Traditional Knowledge issued based on state-based and indigenous-based discussions. Ms. Lydia Margosian, the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, was also present at the discussion. She also spoke about the same agreement and welcomed the attendees to discuss this important document at the general session of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia. At the end of the session, a number of other current agenda issues were also discussed. The Lemkin Institute for the Prevention of Genocide calls for an end to Baku's support for the 29th UN Climate Change Conference. Baku is a genocidal state, states the message. Currently, it is illegally detained about 300 Armenians and refuses to release them, including eight members of the elected government of Artsakh. It is also said that some of the detainees were subjected to torture and the international community should reject the settlement of the genocide and its ideology and stop supporting it. Let me remind you that the 29th UN Climate Change Conference is scheduled for November this year in Baku. According to the same agreement, 42 Armenian prisoners of war were returned to Army and two Azerbaijan border violators were returned to Baku, one of whom was accused to ki of killing the guard of the Zangezur copper Molybedum combine. According to the Council of Europe report, the countries with the highest rates of imprisonment are Turkey, Georgia, Baku, Republic of Moldova, Hungary, Poland, Slovakia, Albania, Czech Republic, Lithuania and Latvia. The space requests for the Council of Europe are conducted by the University of Lausanne every year. It contains information from the prison administrations of Council of Europe member states. And according to the report, Armenia has the lowest level of imprisonment in the South Caucasus. The index of prisoners in Georgia is 255, Azerbaijan 244, and Armenia 79. In particular, the report states that prison are growing in Europe remains a serious and permanent problem. In the report broadcasted on Baku TV channel, as if uh, mentioned that Armenia site destroyed the cemetery in Ivanian, causing great damages to the tombs and archaeological materials. The video also says that the Armenian allegedly damaged the Muslim mausoleum by tearing off its facing stones. The Monument Watch team reminds Baku that during Soviet times there was a settlement of Baku near the mausoleum whose inhabitants carried out agricultural activities in those areas, took stone from those areas for the construction of their houses, which significantly damaged the mausoleum. The airport built there, which was built in the Soviet years by the Baku authorities, also caused damages. As for the Islamic mausoleum, it had been without facing stones for a long time. During the years of independence, it was included in the list of historical and cultural monuments of Artsakh, was preserved by the state and remained in the same pre-war condition. In the central part of Tallinn Street, named after Magarty Chayatunyan, the solemn opening ceremony of the monument of Magarty Chayatunyan, a spy who was named among the best commanders of recent history, a posthumous Knight of the Combat Cross First Degree and Honorable Servant Orders of Military Intelligence, took place. The honor of the opening ceremony was given to the father, wife, and daughters of Magarty Chayatunyan. The order of blessing of the memorial was performed by the clergy. A general prayer was sung for Magarty Chayatunyan and other matters. Makartic is the defender of this land, nation, and the stones of this mountain, and like them, stands in front of encroachments, said the commander of the speech forces of the Republic of Army and Arms Forces, Colonel Argishti Vartanyan, presented the significance of the memorial. Makartic Hayatunyan participated in the Four Day War from the first day, and he actively participated in the 44 Day War of 2020, fighting on the front line in the hottest spots. In 2022, Hayatunyan's battalion participated in September battles in Ishkhanasa successfully carrying out special tasks. Died on April 11, 2023, while performing a special task on the border of Tech village. The legacy of Faram Khachatryan is immortal. It unites us, which is especially important in these difficult and ambiguous days for all of us. Director for Aram Khachatryan House Museum, Armin Grikoyan, said before paying tribute to the memory of Aram Khachatryan in Komitas Pantheon. 
Aram Khachatarian's 121st birthday is coming up. The 20th international competition named after Khachatarian starts on the day of his birthday. This year, the competition will be held in the violin professional category. 20 violinists from 14 countries received the right to participate during the gala concert to be held on June 14. The winners of the competition will be announced and the award ceremony will take place. The Armenian hockey team will participate in the 2025 World Championship. The information is reported by the Hockey Federation of Armenia. It should be noted that the Eastern Armenian national team for the last time participated in the division tournament in 28. Therefore, after 15 years, this is a historical event for our national team. This was all for today. Goodbye.